want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, and Shalom to the elect. So before I let the clip play, because that's all I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any commentary on this video. This guy here, he's been going around. I noticed he was with um, Captain Tazariak. He did some little short debate. Maybe they're trying to get some form, form of fame or views, or maybe they're agents. I also remember Apostle Tahar saying, okay, the, um, <laughs> these weirdos like this, you know, you don't have to deal with guys like this and you really shouldn't but I didn't know who this guy was and I, and I guess he was playing it like he didn't want to you know expose who he was so I didn't think anything of it before you know it we was in a a little conflict but I was kind of having fun with it but it also just shows you that the weird these weirdos and crazos will be making rounds surrounding our camps. And there, there are a lot of these agents. And it was another guy that came before him who wanted to, he asked for some crazy name of somebody, but it was a Sakari. Because Sakari pushes uh, across the street from us, but further over, we don't hear him or anything like that. And um, we don't, you know, we they even come by and salute us. You know, they just put the fists up. So we kind of live peaceably amongst them. And keep it moving. So, this is the clip of these um, new weird, you know, these weird guys. This is probably the weirdest doctrine I think any of us uh, has ever encountered. You know, we've seen Edomites do it. You know, they claim that they were the new messiahs. And it's not long after that you, you'll see Jake finding themselves doing the same thing but this is prophecy because the Lord said that in the scriptures that many will come saying that they are the messiahs you know at any rate it's probably the weirdest doctrine I've ever heard of I mean the comforter came and said he was the comfy so and just for all you other Christians understand that this is not our behavior of let me say the one westers and I'll say at Great Millstone None of us will go around saying that we are the Messiah. So these other Christians title it and make it seem like, you know, this is lumping all of us into it. But understand you Christians have are guilty for men calling themselves the Messiah, you know, uh, the Christ too. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom. That continue tonight to wine and flame them. That's it be in, in the drunkenness of the that's all that's all America is one big drunken philosophy. That's why everybody does whatever they want to do, no consequence. Facts. Unless it's something righteous, then they got something to say about it. Facts. Y'all know about the Israelites? I know you look familiar. Okay. No, he does. Okay. Oh, what who are y'all and which are uh, about? Okay. okay. So y'all are po street apologists? Street apologists? Street apologists. Right. What is that? I never heard apologists, of it. Apologists go to apologia, which means defenders. Defenders? Yeah. I would, you, know, I would you look like the guy that, that, calls, that said he, he's the, the Messiah. I look like him? You look like him. That must be you. It could be, but, but if, I, if I was to say the son of man who God had told me was to be on earth, could anyone dispute that? Say what now? Could anyone dispute that the Son of Man that God has chosen to be walking the earth? You believe you're the Son of Man? Well, before we get it, no, no, it's just a question. Do you believe you're the Son of Man? Well, I, I know who you are. I know I'm the Son of Man. But okay. you know, but, but so you, you're the, the new Messiah. Correct. Okay. All right. This man calls himself the new Messiah. I'll start at four. Oh, I was just asking. That's it right. says, and Yahweh Shah. Yeah. It says, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, right. saying, I am Christ. What did they say? 
I am Christ. Right. So many shall come in the Lord's name saying that they're the Messiah. Well, who name I come in? I come in the Father's name. Yeah, you can say you come in, you say you're the son of the most high. I know, but you come you're in. You're not the son of the most high. Let me say this though. You come in Yahshua name, right? No. Hello. How what you name? What, what name do you come in? No, go ahead. Well, what name the, the scripture says in Matthew 7 and 6, cast not thy pearls before swine. I'm saying, so I, I don't know what name you come in. I come in the father's name. Yes, why? What's the father's name? I am. I'm he. Okay, so any man that comes up and claims that he's the Messiah is is, is something is weird with that man. Read that again. Yeah. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. It says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yeah, that's all deception. Get the logic to me. That's all deception, man. Now, who determines what man is deceiving us? Like, who, who brings forth a message? They let no man. They okay, let so, no man deceive you. Are you not a man? Okay. So the scripture I'm, says, let no man deceive you. I'm you calling yourself the ultimate teacher? Yeah. There ain't no ultimate teacher, man. You just said it was ultimate. When are you, when you're hot, get Matthew 1034 real quick. Let's see what happened when Jesus comes back. Read that. You cut yourself. This is. This is not on the foolish on your phones. You might as well put them away. Hey, folks. Go ahead. Matthew 10 34. Go ahead. Read that. This guy's Jesus. Y'all heard it. Read it. Y'all here with God. It says, Think not that I am leadership. You don't know where you're at. On earth. You don't know where you're at. I came not to send peace, but a sword. He came to send a sword. So are you coming to bring a sword? He's bringing it right now. No, no. That's not the great sword. Okay. So if you're supposed to be coming down, taking down the nations, why have you took down the nations yet? The you think the one called Jesus is coming down here for uh, for peace? No, it's a man. Twenty-five to thirty-one. God is his head. The son of man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him. Right, the son of man is son of man. Listen to what it say. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Right. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Are you gathering all nations? Right. Get the fuck out of here. Right. This dude's a complete fuck out. Right. Someone so asked you this. This dude ain't gathering all nations. You obviously ain't gathering all nations. Are you separating the sheep from the goat? No, he's not. Get the hell out of here. This man claims to be the Messiah. That's a bug out, man. Hey, so, so, so. You got long hair, Where's sir? the head of your church? Where's your long, why you got long hair? Let me answer the question. Why answer it? Why you got long hair? When you ride. Now's your time to answer. 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 No, your private interpretation. Answer. This is your platform. Your platform. The Bible only has one interpretation. Private interpretation. Why you got dreadlocks? You know what? I'm a wild guy. I'm a man. Okay. Okay, I'm a man, so you tell me. Read that again. Give me your private interpretation. First Corinthians 11 and 14 does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. It's a shameful for you to have long hair. Hey, all I want to know, first son of man must suffer many things, right? He was by the chief priests, the scribes, and Pharisees. Get John 11 49. I'm and going to be raised to the Lord, right? No, 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 no. All right, go ahead. Your dad. Hey, one of them named Kaipu. Who's Who's Y'all supposed to know, man. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Y'all don't know. Come on, man. They said this didn't happen yet. Come on, we ain't got to deal with this. Do you know who Of course you know He's saying it isn't happening, but it's telling you an account that already happened. Show me the date. If this happened yet or not, Matthew 7 and 6. No, it hasn't happened. So all the things that he's written of about the Messiah hasn't happened yet. No. His copy is here now. His copy is here. Is he here? Let me Where's he at? Are you a false witness? Is he at? Where's he at? Where is he? Are you copy? Are you copy? Are y'all copy? So no one is copy. This crazy looking man to be the Messiah. I'm the crazy Now the accounts have already been given in the Bible of things that happened that Yahweh that happened to him. And he's claiming that these things haven't happened yet. Now you said to prove that this hasn't, or whatever you're saying, prove that this, no, I'm, I'm, I'm did we prove that that's not, that hasn't happened now and it's going to come or something like that? Well, yeah, we, 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 know, we know the problem. So how can you prove that this coming to pass? Because God. You got to prove that. Yeah, because God, God didn't use Show the Show us that. If you go to Hebrews chapter 1 and 1. 
Only he proves more than one. But first, first I want to. Now you got to show us. Now you're jumping around. No, show us in the, the Bible, Bible where none of this stuff oh, came to pass yet. I didn't run. I, I need you to show us before we go to the next one. I think he proved one and one. Okay, yeah, he was good. Yeah. Love that humble spirit, brother. I love that. Yep, yep. I love that. Oh, we deal. We defend the gospel. Okay. That's what we do. I that. But I, we really don't want to go back and forth. Well, because at the end of the day, y'all going to go down the street. Y'all going to believe what you believe, and we're going to believe what we want. So what y'all doing is not profitable. They say what we do is not profitable. This is Hebrews 1 and 1. It says, God, who has such a time, God is better, take the time as to the fathers by the prophets. <laughs> After these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Okay, so the son speaks in the last days. Yeah, so when was now, the last oh, days? Oh, oh, when when was the last days? Did you just brother? hear yourself? When was the last days? Is that the last so, days? So this is the last days. Okay. The, well, let, can, was, can I finish? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. This is the last days where the children of Israel get gathered from the four corners of the earth. Okay. Christ. Christ didn't gather nobody from the four corners of the earth. Okay. So he right will. now, so right now, Christ would be on earth. No, he would be coming back. Walking amongst the candlesticks, gathering the people from the four no, corners of the earth. Peter three and eight. But beloved, be not oh, ignorant of this one thing: that one day is what the Lord is a thousand years. So with the Lord, one day is a thousand years. It's only been two two days to the Lord. Says who? And that's what we believe. Says who? It's what we believe. Says who? So show me it's what, what the scriptures say. Why did he say one day is a thousand years? There's a reason why he no, said that. Only been two days. You, it's only been two days. Says, so it's been the last days when he died on the cross. Is someone gonna be raised up from among you, and this is who you're hearken to? Now, when, you, when, you're, when you're dealing with when you're dealing Don't with Moses, harking? when when you go into the scriptures, it says a prophet shall come, right? Yeah, from among us. Yeah, among yeah, us. Yeah, Hebrews right. five and one. Right, but you're not that prophet. Says who? Says us. Okay, well, wait. We know you ain't. Oh, wait. Somebody get Isaiah 11 and 11. We're going to shut these clowns down right now. Hey, go ahead. Isaiah 11 and 11. Real quick. Y'all got to get your emotions under in control, man. Oh, we good. Isaiah 11 and 11. Okay. Here we go. It's a come to pass the next day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time. The second time? When was the first time? Moses. Okay, here we go. I did Moses come. The remnant of his people. Right. Which shall be left. From Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath. And so, from if the this you, you better get a serious passport. A spiritual Egypt in Revelation? Of course, there's a spirit. This is Egypt. Oh, so why I need a passport? This is Egypt. Egypt. So, why I need a passport? Yeah, but he said Egypt mm -hmm. and what else? He reading. All right. These are mind frames. Oh, come on. Now they just making it up as they go along. Hey, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's spiritual Egypt? What's spiritual Egypt? Right. And for Pathros. Who oh, has Pathros, man? He just asked you. Come on. What is spiritual Egypt? Where's Cush, man? Where's spiritual Egypt? Abraham. 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 Well, so I, now I, you got to get on a private jet, and then you got to go land in Cush, the islands. You got to go to Jamaica. You got to go to Haiti. You got to go. Get me out there. Get Matthew five and seventeen. We really gonna cut Jesus now, man. Matthew five and seventeen. Yes, we want. Yes, we want to cut Jesus. Oh, it's live too. It's live too. He said, "Forget the borders of the blue." Blue is false. Am I not lying? I say that what you're saying. The blue is false. That's you false. False. That's false. That's false. Okay. That's Matthew false. 5 and 17. Uh, Matthew 5 and Jesus will not have had him like that. Go ahead. Go 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 his borders are okay. false. Okay. All right. Okay. Go 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 okay. Here we go. Your borders. Your borders. And whoever are other borders are got out of here. You know what it is now. The scripture. Get Hebrews 4 12, somebody. Hear what here now. Go ahead. Read. God. It says, Speak not that I come to destroy the law for the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He came to fulfill. So why are you trying what? to fulfill? Hold on, not. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yes, you are. They all got head coverings. So if Christ is your head covering, what the hell are you doing with a hat on? Ain't that something? What the hell? I can point sense. to him in the flesh. Answer no. like not a fool according to his folly. That's why I ain't talking to no Lest thou also be like unto him. Now we're going to give an example for camera edification. We're going to do it for camera edification. We're going to give an example. Oh, yeah, how is you think Christ is dead? Matthew 13 and 9. 
And then when we read out of the book, they say it's false. It's just a book. So, are you supposed to hate? Are we supposed to be hate? She said, stop hate. Are we supposed to hate? No. Are we supposed to hate? Oh, yeah. Right. Love your enemies with Israelites. But what did he say about hate? Y'all supposed to know the Bible. You don't supposed to hate. I'm not. Get Amos 5 and 15. Amos 5 and 15. Go ahead. Hate the evil and love the good. What did the Bible say? And establish judgment in the gate. The Bible is written. It's written. That this says it's written by what? It's written. We already know what Those are written say. words. Written by what? Those are not that a man didn't write your book. God doesn't dwell in things that's made with your hands. God don't dwell in things that's made of wood and stone. Do you have Guess a what? Your book is made of wood, right? A house? Is it made of wood? Go ahead, read that. This is Proverbs 30 and 5. Here we go. They're going to get embarrassed again. Go ahead. Every word of God is pure. What does it say again? Every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. How do we know the word of God, sir? You tell How do you know? You just said the scripture is saying, but then you say you don't believe in the book. If any man shall say unto you, Lo, there is Christ, or there, believe him not. What? <laughs> believe him not. What is it? If any man shall say unto you, wow. Lo, there is Christ, Damn. or there, believe him not. What is it? Believe him not. 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 Answer no more, man. We burn. It's not going. For what? I told you. Do it again. That's crazy. You know? You just came to the wrong camp. Oh, who? You should be over there somewhere. Sakari don't even want you. No, you see him. They right there. You see him right there. This is Revelation 1 and right 7. There. It says, Behold, for he cometh with clouds. What did he say again? He, he cometh with clouds. clouds. Say it again. He he cometh with clouds. clouds. I thought that was another interpretation. <laughs> That's a problem. Read what Jesus said. Hebrews 10. And every eye shall see him. Right? And every they, eye. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him. And all yeah, pierced him. This nigga. Wait a minute. So, so, Revelation 1. So I'm you a question. Can we stand on some truth? I'm asking you. So okay. he said, Bro. Everyone is sinning. We were so all your born Christ into, has sinned. Hold on. We were all born into the darkness, the law, the sin and lies. The same. Okay. Thing. And the same sin, for so him. We were all. Did he, he say? No, he didn't sin. You never sinned. No, he never sinned. He sinned. He, he never sinned. He sinned. He never 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 sinned. No, Y'all sick in the head. Every last one of you. Y'all fucking sick in the head. Y'all believe that he's the Messiah. First Thessalonians 5. Let's read the Bible. One more. One more. Let's read the Bible. Let's read the Bible. Remember the Joseph story? Remember the Joseph story? Y'all are the real occult. Brothers. Y'all are the real occult. Y'all need to sit down with a third. Oh, it has to be him that's in the shot. He got tattoo. 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 He got tattoos. He said, "You're not supposed to mark your flesh. You not supposed to have no mark your flesh like that. Yeah, mark no cutting. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Bible. So that's that's Thou what it not make cuttings See? in our flesh. That's, you that's don't judge them. Yeah, that's the sin. Yeah, no, 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 and that's, that's a parable. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything was true. And tell his name is Jesus. Let us all until then, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, come on, man. All right." Here we go. First Thessalonians 5 and 9. It says, But God have not appointed us to wrath, but to attain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Here we go. He died for us. Wait. He died for us? Oh, dying right now, but he's alive. Dying. You got to follow your Messiah. 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 